this is uh, another uh, printer because my other one had a few quality issues and hoping this one's going to be absolutely fine right now here we go so i've unpackaged the product taken the blue sticky tape off it um placed it in the air i'm going to be using it and now i've got to fill up the tanks so this is a brand new one as the first one i bought had a few issues with it with um black blotches and streaking through photographs black and white photographs so um yeah this is the second model so if you look here this is how you feel so you have to lift this top bit up here this is the scanning so you have to lift this up together in order for the inks to be filled so the good thing about the eco tank 4750 is it already comes with two sets of ink bottles which can print up to 14,000 pages in black and up to 11,000 in colour which is fantastic so you'll notice that the ink bottle fits on this here so this is the black so they're all labelled really easy to follow along so you should never get it wrong which colour goes where uh, BK for black that's a black bottle I just need to put it on there now and there it goes you can hear it going in you can see it going in this is much better than the last one the last one I couldn't even see it I'm so much happier that the manufacturer and third party where I bought it worked together to get me a new printer ASAP and now I can see the inks actually how they're filled up to really easy because this is a lot more white can you see how white that is so easily be able to see dark against white whereas the other one was really dark now this should stop automatically at that line hear it see this is really awesome technology where there'll be still ink left in the bottle but yet it stops by itself incredible see here it's got a very minimal amount left in the bottle and then you just replace the cover Make sure you push this down. Oop. Just need to replace this colour. Make sure you push it down. And make sure it's well down. You know, so you can't easily ping it. So if this gets on your clothes or items, it can stain badly. Make sure this top's really screwed on. I recommend even if the top's really screwed on to not tip it upside down. I'm just gonna get on and fill the other inks now. C's gonna be next. As you can see. So now we've got the blue filling up, see? Really easy to see that it's filling up. Now I'm filling the magenta. So M with the M. Lovely colour, isn't it? Now the yellow. Look at that. What I love is it goes right to the top and then it just stops by itself and you've still got a little bit left in the bottle. I can actually see that bottle going down. I don't think you can see it because of the lighting in here, but it's incredible. It just stops and it gets right to the top and it's still got a little bit left in it. See, so it gets to the top line and then it just stops. Incredible. See, it's still got this much ink left in the bottom as well. So when they're all done, just make sure that they're definitely all pressed in. And make sure the bottle lids are screwed on very tight because you'll need to keep those last little bits of ink for topping up before you set the ink levels. So this is where you plug the power cable in. Now I recommend using a surge protector on one of these machines. It's really important. So I'm going to plug this in here. So plug the power cable in. Make it sure it's nice and secure. Make sure it's in a surge protector as well. See? Surge protector. So now we need to tilt this upwards. Gently like that. And then switch it on. It's a good sign. Then you've got to select your language. English. UK. 
daylight saving times when they're on. Uh, I like day, month, and year. Tell this is a 2017 model because it's got 2017 plugged into it. Oh, there's 24 of them. Come on, the tanks are filled with ink. Um, And charging of the ink is complete. You'll get this message and you'll also see that it's eaten into a lot of your ink. Can you see that? How much it's taken? So it's taken quite a lot, the initial setup, which is why they give you two sets of ink. Because that's a lot of ink it's taken up to just to charge it. So this is all about loading paper now. I've got a load of paper here. This is a nice quality, really white paper as you can see. So you can test out. Don't forget to flick through the pages. Um, you know, before you put it in. We've got up to 250 sheets in this model. So this is a paper cassette. And then you pull it to. And then you need to pull this out in order for the paper to come out. So I've done the load paper. And then you have to go through the adjustment settings next. Align the printer to get the best um, quality. So we need that. Perform a print head nozzle check to, to check print quality. I did this on the first one I had, the one I sent back, and the magenta you could barely see. I had to go through five um head cleans to get the magenta right last time so let's see if this is exactly the same or if it prints out this worked first time with the new printer however um the paper did not get recognized in the cassette and i had to phone up technical support before this this worked i had to switch it off unplug it and basically reboot it so this is the color with the new printer which I am impressed about. This is the better one. And I was getting the streaking, but not when I put it on default settings, black and white. When it was just normal black and white, I was getting the streaking like this still, which I don't think is quite as bad as the last one, but I'm still getting it as you can see. But once I changed to default settings, look, no streaks at all. It's looking great. No smudges like I had on the other one. The Ink tanks are better to see as well. Oh, by the way, I had to remove the other printer in the Mac system preferences and then add this new one. Otherwise it wouldn't work. It's still looking for the old one. And so here we go. I'm going to refill the inks, reset the ink levels, and then all good to go. Finally, finally done my uh, warranty for the new model. So printed an email out as well so it's all good all good at last woohoo i need to test the um copyright i tested the copyright earlier actually on default settings that's how the copy came out so yeah looking good looking good finally i get a good printer